Meanwhile, like a machine, the captain was popping open the other bottles and the bearded man was snatching each from his hand and passing it on. The floor became wet with effervescence. When a bottle was offered to Jake and he took it, but shared it ceremoniously over to the captain. So, you know, right, the uh, captain is the one who went to the soda shop and bought the soda bottles. So the first soda bottle was given to Sage. And the rest of the bottles, right, he is opening, popping up, opening the lid, right, and uh, just giving it to uh, the others. And the bearded man was snatching, means taking it from captain and distributing uh, among others, right? So that's the idea. Snatch means took it uh, from captain and pass it on to the others. The flow became wet with effervescence. Effervescence is what? This uh, bubbly, frothy kind of liquid that uh, comes out, right? When you shake a Coca-Cola bottle, imagine. When you shake a, uh, uh, a carbonated water bottle and just try to open the lid, what happens? This, this kind of foam, this kind of... Uh, uh, froth just comes out, right? We call this effervescence, right? So effervescence, I mean, like it's dripping and it has fallen down and the wet, I mean, like the flow has become a little wet off of effervescence, right? Uh, when a bottle is offered to Jagan, again, uh, one popped up open bottle was given to Jagan, uh, but uh, it's ceremoniously Jagan, just like ceremoniously means just like we may be from the both hands, right? It just as it's in a celebration, right? Like ceremoniously he gave it to the captain. I mean, like he didn't drink this uh, carbonated drink, right? Instead, he, what he got, he gave it back to uh, the captain in a ceremonious way, right? Uh, the sage said, the sage looking to this said, you want us to drink the soda? I mean, like you want us to drink soda? Be uh, because he is not drinking, right? That said, noticed immediately. Uh, then Jagan replied, because I know it's good. I know it's good for your health and no problem, right, for you to have it. Uh, but why don't you drink it yourself? As the said from the as said from Jagan, right? So then if it's good for you, why don't you drink? Uh, Jagan replies, I don't drink more than four ounces of water a day. I mean, like four ounces, other than four ounces of water, I don't drink even water excessively, right? Said Jagan. And that must be boiled at night and cooled in a mud jug in the open sky. I mean, like even that water, that little water I drink, right, has to be boiled at night. It has to be boiled at night and cooled in a mud jug, open to the sky. I mean, like without a cover, a mud jug, a kind of a, uh, a jug made of mud. Uh, some houses still have this, right? Just made of mud total. It's a, it's, it's a mud thing, right? If it falls down, it just breaks just like any 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 clay clay uh, pot or anything, right? But the thing is like when you put the water in a mud jug, it becomes cool, right? Can you see the difference? It's like it becomes very cool and it becomes very refreshing, just like kind of an old, old way of refrigerating, right? Water. I mean, like, it's not that cool, but still, it's a, it's a considerably uh, cool, right? Uh, compared to room temperature. And I mean, like, so Jagan says, like, he has to boil those out in the night and just, you know, put it in a mud, uh, mud jug in the open sky. And only then he drinks. Other than that, no water, no any kind of liquid he's consuming. So he's giving a kind of a reason for uh, say it, right? For asking this question. I drink no other water. There you go. Unless... Other than that, no, no, no water. That's not boiled, right? Uh, even when I was in prison those days, he began. I mean, like he started to go back to his old days, right? And just, you know, talk about his old food habits. Even when I was in prison all those days, in those days, my, in past, Jagan has been in prison. He tried to explain that story. He began, but the rest cut short his reminiscence with the question. But immediately, right, someone asked a question and just, you know, uh, change the subject immediately. I mean, like, they don't want to listen to Jagan's prison days and all this, uh, I, I mean, like, past things, right? Uh, they came here for something important and they are not here to listen to stories, right? Uh, reminiscence with the question, uh, I mean, like, someone else asked the question, have you spent this afternoon usefully? Uh, 
I mean, like, I mean, like, have you, what kind of question is this? Have we spent this afternoon usefully means the idea here is like, have we found answers to our questions? We are here because we had a question. We are, we are here because we, we had a problem. The problem of Jagan giving sweets for a less, a very cheap amount is affecting the other businesses, right? So we are here to discuss that. Have we spent this afternoon usefully means have we reached an answer? Have we reached, have we found the answers to our problem that pestering us, right? Jagan was not sure whose responsibility it was to find an answer. I like Jagan felt like whose responsibility is just to find an answer. It's not mine. Definitely not my problem, right? I don't have a problem, right? So I don't have an answer. I'm doing this because I want to do, right? Uh, find an answer. But remembering that he was the host, but again, he remember like he's the host. I mean, like he's the one who's in the shop and they came to him. Right? Who is a host? Host is a person, right? If some people visit your house, you are the host. I mean, like you have to treat them. You have to give them drinks. You have to give them biscuits. So I don't know. You have to keep them talking on, right? Because that's, you have become the host, right? Uh, so remembering that he was the host said, of course, it has been an honor to receive you. Suddenly, they can remember that he is the host because this guy came to them, right? Yeah, it's, it's a very honor to receive you. I'm very happy and I'm very glad. I'm very privileged just to meet you guys, right? Thank you for coming in, right? Something like that. We are happy that we have understood each other now, said the sage. We are happy that we have understood each other now, said sage. All right, sage said like, I'm happy that, you know, there's a, some kind of understanding between you and me. Now, can you remember from the past, right? I mean, like, uh, there was this tension between Seth and Jagan, right? Uh, it's it's so many times it's been shown. I mean, like, uh, uh, I mean, like when 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 Kasin was talking about Seth, Jagan said, "Okay, stop, stop, don't talk about Seth, don't talk about Anandaban, don't talk about anything. Those tax issues, right? I don't want to listen to it." Can you remember in the in the initial chapters, right? We came across those things. I mean, like he doesn't like it. Uh, it means like, why don't you like to listen to a person, a person's name or per, uh, a reference to a person because you don't like that person for some reason, right? Uh, so in the same way, we felt this tension, friction between Jagan and, uh, sorry, between Jagan and Seth in the beginning. Now it seems like Jagan was uh, happy uh, to receive Seth and Seth also happy saying that uh, we are happy that we have understood each other now, said Seth. I hope we can count on your cooperation. I hope you will help us in the future as well, said Seth, right? Without thinking what they meant, Jagan said effusively. I mean, like, <laughs> now Jagan sometimes doesn't think much before he replies, right? That's another weakness of Jagan. Like he says something, right? But he doesn't mean what he's saying. Yeah, uh, he immediately said without thinking. Uh, I mean, without thinking, they meant they can say effusively, effusively mean profusely, in, in a big way, in an open way, a lot of words, right? Certainly, surely, I believe in cooperation fully. Yes, 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 of course, I'll give you my full cooperation, right? If Now, the problem here is, if he is going to give cooperation to Seth or Canteen Man, he has to increase the price. That's the cooperation they want, right? But he, is he planning to increase the price? Is Jagan is planning to increase the price? No. He's, he, he has no idea like that, right? He want to do what he do the way like this, right? For some time. And so that's why I told you that the text tells, tells you, right? Without thinking. He, he says some things without thinking, right? The full implications of it. The canteen man remarked, If it is just some temporary policy of yours, it's not for us to question you. Right, the, the canteen man says, right, right, if it's a temporary policy, right, you are doing it temporarily, not for every day, but just for a very limited time as you are scheming, uh, maybe your promotion, it's maybe your style of, you know, getting the customers, all the customers from Algori to your doorstep for a while as if, uh, if to, you know, uh, get the attention of the place, right, uh, attention of the town. So whatever the purpose, is it promotion or is it like sales or whatever, we are not questioning that thing if it's temporary stuff, right? Uh, you are doing it for a little time. Yes, uh, but if it's anything else, interrupted Said, 
we must all try to maintain tone of business that is our common aim yeah then he say jumps to this conversation and says like but if it's anything else right if you have something else in your mind as if to do this for a while right just to continue this thing interrupted said we must all try to maintain the tone of business i mean like we we are all business people in this town we are all doing business as our li- living it's our livelihood right we 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 make our income from this and uh, if you are going to risk this by you know selling cheap food ch- selling cheap sweets 25 paisa a packet each right then we have to maintain a tone of business then we have to talk business here right this is not going to help any one of you any one of us either you right said uh, that is our common aim that's why we are here to discuss said said right jagan made some indistinct in sounds mean indistinct means not clear right it's kind of, kind of incomprehensible kind of indistinct sounds like ah uh, mm, 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 mm. something like that right those are indistinct sounds you can understand those things right ah yeah something like that right uh in his throat and they all left after that right jagan even didn't give a <laughs> clear reply after some time the guests who came left he had heard them drive off uh, he could hear them go on their vehicle right drive off and prepared to wind up for the day and he uh, jagan prepared to end things in the business day the captain came in to take the iron chair back to the soda shop now Cap- captain can you remember both the iron shop i like iron chairs and you know things from the soda shop he came back to take the iron chair to the soda shop and placed on jagan's table a bill for the drinks right the bills for the drinks from the soda shop right is given to jagan jagan had emptied the cash collection into drawer hours ago before they even came a uh, set even came jagan have you know uh, emptied the cash in the drawer as for counting and everything and now proceeded to open it and was sorting out the various denominations when the bearded man who had gone out with the set came back right now when he started uh, counting the cash now right uh, now is the time because the closing time is approaching he started counting cash at this moment he is found right he saw the bearded man you know right the third person someone's brother right i mean like uh, he is coming back to the shop he went with the rest but now again he is coming back right jagan said jagan asked look into the bearded man Did you forget something? Like, did you forget something in a sense? Like, are you coming to pick up something you forgotten in the shop, right? No, said the man, approaching and taking his seat on the stool. And now there was stool is there, right? Cousin stool, right? Where cousin sits next to Jagger's throne, right? Uh, yeah, he sat on the stool. I send the me. I send them away in the car. I actually live in the next street. they gave me a lift and i thought i might come in with them and meet you they were so busy talking to you i did not like to disturb you you are meeting says the white beard man i mean like white beard man said uh now sitting on the stool next to jagan i send the people away in the car i send the car i mean like i send the seat and the canteen man in the car I actually live in the next street. I'm I'm very close by. I mean, living next by. I mean, like very close next street. They gave me a lift. Actually, they saw me, and they are the one who gave me a lift in the car, right? And I thought I might come in with them to meet you. So I thought of right coming and just seeing you with these guys. Uh, they were so busy talking to you. I did not like to disturb your meeting. I mean, like since you are talking business and they were talking business, I I can't, I couldn't talk with you. So this I was silent, right? Now he may asking some time from Jagan for a chat or you know some talking. What he got to talk? What he what does this white bearded man has to say to Jagan? We'll find out, right? Uh, Jagan said. Uh, Jagan says, I don't think I have seen you before. Said Jagan, right? I mean, like you are a stranger to me. I haven't seen you before. So what do you have to talk with me? In other words, right? If you are a stranger, right? Uh, ask Kasin. Uh, sorry, ask Jagan. I don't think I have to. I have seen you before. Uh, then the guy bearded man says, 
I live in the Kabir street. But seldom pass this way, he said. I mean, like, I live in the Kabir street. It's very close. You know, they have this all these streets, Kabir streets, Market street, Lodi extension, up there, you know, South extension, all these streets, right, in Malgudi. But anyway, he says, I but seldom pass this way means I rarely come this way. I occasionally come this way. I don't regularly walk on these streets, right? This street where you live. So that's why you haven't seen me, right? Regularly. Uh, he said, settling down the stool for a conversational evening. I mean, like he, and how it seems like this bearded man want to have a chat with Jagan, right? He settled down, right? Conveniently on the uh, chair, right? Stool. In a conversational evening, he had to talk. He, right? Uh, Jagan said, I thought you were going with them. Jagan was not in a con conversational mode, mood, right? Jagan says, I thought you were going with them. In the car, right? Why should I when I, my house is so near? Said the bearded man, right? Why should I go in a car? Why should I get a lift when I can? In, if it's my if my house is in the walking distance, right? I can walk. So why have a lift? What's the deal, right? Uh, I don't know that. Said Jagan. Uh, I didn't knew that that you were near, near right? Said Jagan. I don't know your name yet. What's your name, in other words, right? What's your name, right? Uh, I don't know your name yet, said Jagan. People who know me used to call me Chinnadore, uh, as distinct from my master who was known as Periadore, the small master and the big master. Ah, in no way to be compared. Right? People called me, people who used to call me by name, called me Chinnadore. Chinnadore, right? Chinnadore is a uh, well known uh, name, right? Uh, Chinnadore means what? Chinnadore means small master, little master, right? Distinct from my master, I mean, like who was Periadore? Periadore, right? Periadore is the big master, right? Uh, a small master and big master, right? Uh, big master is Periadore, small master is Chinnadore. So this guy, white bearded man, is Chinnadore, right? Uh, a small master and big master are ah, no way to compare, right? I mean, like you can't compare small master with the big master. Big master is the big master, right? He's, he's the master. I mean, a universal master, right? That's what the idea. So I'm just a humble man. So, but people call me Periadore, right? So, I mean, like in India, even we have this, right? Uh, this system, right? They say like big master, small master, Periadore, Chennadore, Periadore, Chennadore, right? Something like that. In in our circumstances, we don't have it, right? Uh, I mean, like if your tata is Silva, and you also Silva, ne? Uh, you, if your tata is Fernando, you also Fernando. We don't have this thing, right? If, uh, so how do you, how do you dis distinguish between your father and you? It's by names, right? The first front names probably, right? you Fernando, Fernando. You are Podi Fernando, and your tata is Loku Fernando. Him again, just like our system is a little different, right? But in America, it's there, right? For for example, like we'll say we'll say Donald Trump. We have Donald Trump the senior and Donald Trump the junior, right? Senior is the the elderly person, the dad. Junior is the son. For example, there was two presidents who were son and father in United States of America. Uh, George Bush, Bush C, Bush the senior. And the boss junior, right? Junior means the son, senior means the father, right? So that countries have there. India also seems to have this a little bit of it, right? Like Chenna Dore and Peria Dore, all other rays, right? Chenna and Peria are the adjectives. Just in our case, we don't have it, right? Loco Fernando, Pori Fernando, Nanya, right? Okay, so you have to understand these things, right? And he says, like, and no way I can compare it. I mean, like, you can't compare the big guy, big master with me, but still. And Jagan listens to this and says, who was your master? Like, who is this? Who is this Periodore guy? Right? How many times now, now this Chenadore introduced the master, right? His master to Jagan. How many temples have you visited in your life? The bearded man asked, like, from Jagan, how many temples in Malgudi around here have you visited in your life? 
what kind of a question is this right uh, today everyone seem to be firing questions at him but jagan asked i mean like everyone today was asking questions from him right i mean the cooks were asking questions when they, he, he was preaching right and then now setos and the canteen man were asking questions and now again this guy who came to his shop right without going home right for a conversation also ask a question from him like how many temples you have visited in your life right uh, but anyway jagan gave an answer a uh, hundred temples of all sort maybe more right maybe hundred temples and more so much right maybe more and period uh, period or uh, not period or chennadori right the small master explains white bearded man explains the god or oh, gods in every one of the temples were carved by my master now you know those temples that have the gods and goddesses right gods in every temple that you visited in malgodi was made by my master my master is the stone carver you know i mean like uh, i mean like uh, the the person who carved who created these statues that you worshiped in every temple you went in malgodi so how about that as introduction right uh, oh how wonderful to know that said jagan wow uh, that's a new one i didn't know that before it's very nice to know that right said jagan happily in a kind of a good tone right the figures of shiva the destroyer wish to the protector devi who vanquished the demon mahisha with the dreadful weapon she bore in 18 arms the, dra- the dwarapalakas gatekeepers at the shrine and the designs at the doorway and the freezes uh, freeze right uh, freeze uh, all the walls were alike all done by my master all over the south his eyes blazed and blared fluttered with when he spoke i mean like you see the bearded man's eyes right blaze means were very fiery and very very live uh, very sharp right and blared uh, sorry and, and his beard fluttered while he spoke, spoke spoke i mean like he has a long beard right white beard and his fluttered means like it just shake this way that way right beard when you know when i open the mouth right when i open the mouth you see my lips are moving the cheeks are moving now imagine if i had a beard right what happens like when i just just talking right it goes here it goes here it goes here so it's like fluttering right it's like waving in other words right uh, so that's that day i noticed but what by the way what was this chennadore is speaking he said that his master has made the shiva statue shiva is a god you know who's the destroyer vishnu the protector devi who vanquished means defeated or just you know uh, won won the demon who has defeated and won the victory against the demon mahisha right uh, with dreadful weapons she bore in 18 arms right devi has like dreadful weapons like very dangerous weapons in her 18 like arms right uh, so these things right you know there are some gods and goddesses you have seen right for yourself they are many they have many arms right uh, and uh, what else dwarapalakas like we call them dwarapalakas dortupal in our words right and gatekeepers is another word right at the shrine at the temple when you are entering you have dwarapalakas and what else you have frees Uh, what if he is like a uh, kind of an architectural ornament uh, so write down if you don't know freeze write in singhala right uh, if you can't understand an architectural ornament means you know what is called katayam ah uh, that's uh, what's we mean what we mean by freeze right here yeah. uh, so all what are done right in other words he's a good artist right to do all these things just to carve these statues with the eighteen arms with objects in those arms and these uh, dwara palakas and these statues right is one heck of a talent right so yes uh, jagan was impressed by his elocution although he did not quite understand what he was driving at i mean like jagan was impressed jagan i mean in other words the white bearded man speech introduction attracted jagan's or oh, just got jagan's attention right 
uh, he impressed by his elocution. Elocution means what? Right, the flair of speech. The way someone speak is called elocution. You go elocution classes and right? I mean like that's the idea here, yeah? right? Okay. Although he did not quite understand what he was driving at. I mean like uh, for Jagan, the motive of this uh, guy bearded man was not clear. Like why is saying this to me is not clear, right? Driving at. Uh, it was at least the relief from the talk of butter and frying. At least now it's good in a way. Because it's not about butter and frying and kitchen talk or business or money or anything. It's some kind of a different talk, right? So it's good in that sense, right? His description of the gods make Jagan regret that he had not gone near the temple for months. Being wrapped up in his monotonous job of frying and cash counting. I mean like now when the white bearded man Chennadore talk about the gods temples Jagan felt like oh my god I miss the temples I go I miss the time just to attend temples go to these temples because my life is boring life nowadays it's like almost like business right frying and cash counting frying and cash counting frying and cash counting in the morning the cooks are frying in the evening I'm counting the cash in the morning the cooks are frying in the evening I'm counting the cash right uh, cash counting he declared fervently uh, I mean like yes he Jagan felt like his life is monotonous means very boring monolithic it means like all oh, every day is the same every day is the same right so when every day is the same life become bore, boring right so now but anyway the Jagan declared fervently Jagan declared or Jagan said enthusiastically fervently means you can say enthusiastically right of course I have visited every tem temple in this part of the universe times out of count and I know all the 108 gods and saints enshrined along the both banks of the Kaveri. I know songs that uh, Sambandha are composed of honor of those gods and he assumed a falsetto voice and sang a couple of pieces for sample. I mean like so what happens here is uh, Jagan immediately jumps and says like uh, yeah, of course why not why not I have visited I have gone to all the temples in in Malgudi right all the 108 I mean like sorry I know all the 108 gods saints in shrine like all the 108 gods I know them I know their statues I know the places right I have been to this uh, shrines of course right sometime back and uh, in shrine means allocated uh, I mean, like, enshrine means given to a certain temple. You know, for example, certain temples are fa famous for certain gods, right? For example, if you go Kataragama, you find this Kanda, right? Or, or, or the, the, the uh, what you call the god of Kataragama, right? Uh, it is enshrined to Kataragama, god, right? Uh, Skanda, right? I mean, like, uh, if you go to wish, wish to uh, meet Saman god, right, in Sri Lanka, God summon summon the Yubalan Yanona Yanoni Adalatanata Nada de Yam Adalatanagata and other the Yubalan Katragam Ilarianne, right? A the Yonde A thank the Yan, right? A the Yubalan A thank all the unknown. Just like the say, that's why we call it enshrine. Those are given just like houses to gods, right? There's particular places for gods, right? Okom the Yukatan in that countinet, the Natuati, right? Something like that, right? Anyway, uh, I mean, like. I know all the 108 gods and saints. I mean, like they can say, I know everyone on those temples, right? In shrine. Along the board banks of Kaveri, in other words, they can also have visited these places, but sometime back, right? Not nowadays. He's a busy man, right? He's into this uh, kind of a rut, kind of a groove, kind of a same old, same old work nowadays, right? And I know the songs that some Bandar composed, not only that. He also know a, a, a song, you know, certain people made certain songs to gods, right? I mean, like, the, for example, forget songs here. There are incantations, right? There are kind of hymns for Katragam de Yonta, Yatnya Karna Gata Vakti, Gana de Yonta, Yatnya Karna Gata Vakti, Tava de Yonta, Tava Tava Yatnya Karna Gata Vakti, right? So we, we are singing those things. In a particular tune, in a particular way, right? They they all have their own kind of melody. So in the same way here, a person called Sambandar has made uh, a song in 
in, to praise God, right? For example, they, in, as a matter of fact, there are so many songs made by uh, Indian people to praise God, right? Right? Uh, for example, you know the song called, right? Raghupati Raghava Raja Ram, Patita Pavana Sita Ram. Right? Those are sit songs, kind of, um, those are kind of recent songs that, you know, even it's an old one, but I mean, like, not compared to this Sambandar's composition. Those are, you know, kind of songs that you sing to just praise God, right? You, you believe when you sing those gods and pray to the God, you'll get the, the, the blessings of the God, right? So here Jagan says, like, uh, yeah, I can even remember, right? I also know the songs that Sambandar composed in honor of those gods. Sambandar also had made some songs to honor these gods in the river of Kaveri, right? And he assumed a falsetto voice, right? There was a falsetto, right? It's like a kind of, you sing from the top, right? Uh, it's a falsetto. You have certain vo voices, nasals, when you sing from the nose, nasals. You have a chest voice and you have a falsetto. You, you sing from the top, right? And these are kind of opera singers and, you know, uh, certain they sing from the top, right? I can't sing from the top, right? So I am not going to, you know, I just uh, demonstrate it, right? Uh, uh, it's the upper voice, right? And sang a couple of pieces, for example, and he just gave a little bit of a taste, right? Singing those uh, songs, right? Ah, something like that, right? A kind of a top voice, right? Can you remember that Amaradeva even sometimes goes on for Ah, 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 something right right i don't know right something like that okay and the bearded man shut his eyes immediately bearded man shut his eyes right he closed his eyes listened and showed praise on jagan's musical ability and memory i mean like it seems like J this bearded man loved the singing when Jagan went like that, right? The bearded man, maybe like, you know, uh, and you see in this voice uh, and certain things, right? You know, as I'm a contestant, like, you know, I like singer, no, right? They also, some, 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 in some cases, right? Voice swaggy, what is the tongue word, you know? Contestant, I will like, you know, I go to the bar, Sindhu, Aki, and all the things. I thought I was a balang in Sasikan, and Sansala, I'm going to say, Yeah, that's obviously not good, right? Something like that. Imagine some situation kind of like this, right? So the, the guy goes on, right? This uh, Jagan goes on singing Sambandha, so, and immediately, uh, oh, after this bearded man just closed his eyes and and kind of right uh, uh, listened and showed praise kind of appreciation on Jagan's musical ability and memory he was appreciating the Jagan singing right I mean like imagine the situation right uh, while ballast of flattery he needed today because he was beginning to have misgivings about his practical wisdom I mean like uh, this was which is a ballast of flattery ballast means, means something strong right you use these ballast uh, things like when fishing, right? This these heavy rocks or heavy things that takes the uh, hook down or net down is called a ballast. Or just, you know, some things that you keep on the table just to keep the papers intact is called a ballast, something heavy, right? So he need a heavy fat rattler today. Today means it's a bad little bit of bad day for Jagan that had the evening with this all these guests and everything, right? They were not appreciating much of the work Jagan is doing. So of course he will he he need to have this. He need to have a good day today, right? So beginning to have misgivings about his practical wisdom. I mean, like he was doubting his uh, his practical wisdom means this what he was doing right now. I mean, like the way he is facing the life need some appreciation from someone at this moment moment right because he's not having that because he was having misgivings he was having doubt in home it's a mess right that's why that's the idea the practical wisdom is he's like he felt like he was lacking practicalism in home it's a mess mali and Reza are behind him just to ask money so he don't like to go home now in the shop he has started giving uh, the sweets in a kind of cheap way and the other businessmen seem to dislike it. 
So see, his professional life, home life, all a kind of mess, right? Kind of problems, right? So he needs some practical wisdom. I mean, like he needs a, he needs some a good way, good ideas, good thoughts just to face these both spheres of life successfully, right? All right. Anyway, coming back, Jacob in turn expressed approval of others' taste in music. Uh, I mean, like Jacob in turn expressed approval of the other taste in music means once the bearded man appreciated what Jacob sang. Jagan appreciated the bearded man's taste, right? Uh, you got good taste, right? I mean, like just to enjoy what I sang, you have to have some good taste, right? What are the Ruchika Tatia making a monkey who they will appreciate correct? Kill a Jagan of just the other side around, right? Uh, appreciate. In all this demonstration of musical, sorry, mutual esteem, the purpose of the conversation was usual lost. I mean, like. Right, uh, I mean, like the bearded man came here just to talk something. Jagan, but what happened was they were singing this, right, talking about these things and singing uh, what religious songs, right? And the purpose of the meeting, why the bearded man came here to talk, to have a conversation, was lost, just forgotten, right? right? That's something you have to notice, right? It comes for a one purpose, ends up in some other purpose, right? Uh, you're lost. The bearded man snagged a couple of songs himself, and the bearded man started singing few songs himself, right? Uh, and not in a falsetto, but not in that top voice, like uh, that I demonstrated, but in a full throated voice without inhibition. Full throated means like full throated, kagahala, katarala, dada. Sindhu Kiwa, right? This bearded man. That's the idea, right? Full throated voice. Right? Just like uh, like Sumil Perera. Oh ye ujjaye. Oh ye ujjaye. I mean like that's a full throat voice. I mean like open the open the mouth and just you know go on freely, right? I mean like this guy sang some religious song, not oh ye ujjaye, right? Just some kind of religious songs uh, to the uh, people, right? and uh, to, to Jagan, right? And uh, the full-throated voice without inhibition and the captain at the door peeked to make sure that things were normal within. And now captain can hear, right? <laughs> Jagan is singing falsetto and this guy is singing from the throat, right? Captain looked in up. Everything is normal. Just like right, making sure things are normal within at this business hour because these are still businesses. Shop is not closed, right? See the humor, see the dark humor, right? And this business hour. With this noise of traffic and crowds of the market road, I mean, still, still things are happening on the market road. Market road is not closed, right? And still the business hours are going on, right? And inside you hear voices, you hear, you hear people singing, right? And even the boss and some other guy. So it's natural that security person is feeling a little bit tense, right? And he watched and okay. After the songs, the bearded man returned to his main theme. After this, after, after the song sessions, right? The bearded man came into main theme means what's most important, why he's here, right? All those good you have seen in the temples were done by my master or his disciples. There you go. So all these uh, all these things, all these uh, statues are carved by me or by by uh, sorry uh, by me means by his master. Uh, here in this case, it's like Periodore. Uh, or his disciples, or who followed him, right? Uh, we'll find who are the disciples later, later, right? What was his name, did you say? What is his master's name, you said? Jagan asked, right? Don't mind what I said. I mean, like, forget what I said. We call him master, and that's sufficient, right? Okay. Uh, no, 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 don't. I mean, like, forget what the name I say, this periodore. Forget it. We call him master, right? That's sufficient. You know, that's enough, right? Uh, to know there has been no other way, no other who could assume the title. I mean, like, there's no other person who can be addressed as master, right? He's the only person, uh, according to 
divided by y by n, right? Uh, I mean, like to give a title like that, it's very important, right? It should be important, important person. I mean, like in poetry, when it comes to universal poetry, we have only there are so many poets, right? There are so many poets, many poets. You know them. Most, I mean, like you have you you know what I mean, right? But when I say the bard, the bard, b r d stand for another word the, as poet, the poet in other words, the bard. Who is the bard? William Shakespeare. If I say the bard, right? That's definitely William Shakespeare. No one else. No one else that can claim that title in English literature, right? It's only bard. The bard. Kaviya, the designs a title, bard. If we say the bard, that's Shakespeare, no one else. In the same way, in a, in a much more similar way, right? The man says, bearded man says, we call him master. That's it. In our case, right? In our music business, in our music, uh, in Sri Lankan music, if we call master, there's one guy, only one guy. That's Kevala's master, right? There are other masters also, right? There's Big Master, Mohidin Big, and there are some other composers, right? But still, if we say master, that's famous in Kevala's master keyword. They are the my appointed, right? Same way, in the same way, uh, we call him master, said the bearded man, and that's sufficient. And Jagan asked, like, was he your master? I mean, like, is he your master as well? Were you his student? Were you his disciple? Yes. In his last years, he didn't like to admit anyone near him except me. Yeah, I am also his disciple. I am also. He was my master. I worked him, worked with him, in his last years. In his last years, this is artist, right? And I, I have. Wait, I mean, like I stayed with him in the last years where he didn't admit anyone near him. I mean, no one was near him at his last days except me, said the bearded man, introducing his importance, right? Where did he live? asked Jagan. Not far from here. And any day you can spare a little time, I'll take you there. It's just on the bank of the river. You can see the trees of his garden. Do you ever go across the river? Says the bearded man. And the bearded man introduced the new place, right? Uh, yeah, he, yeah, he was not far from here. When Jagan asked where he was living, he was not far from here. Like any day, any 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 free day, right? Where you can give me little time, I'll take you there to that place where my master lived. It's just on the other bank of the river. Like his other bank of the river means other side of the river. right? And you can see the trees of his garden. And from here, even you can see the trees of his garden. Do you ever go across the river? Have you ever traveled across the river? Right? Ask the white bearded man from Jagan, right? Jagan sighed at this reminder. Sighing, right? I mean, like maybe he remembered something. For years he fixed orbit, for years his fixed orbit had been between the statue and the shop, his mental operations confined to Mali, the cousin and frying. I mean like for a long time he was doing the same old job, like his mental operations were fixed means all his mind he had given to what the shop going and coming to the shop and Mali situation, right? And cousin and frying and every day with this. I mean, in other words, like he didn't have much in his life. He had very little in his life. It was like a kind of boredom for Jagan. I mean, like he was swimming in the same old, same old, same old streams all over, right? And he won't, he, he, he remembered the old days, I guess, right? Uh, he recollected, there you go, he remembered with the sigh the blaze of colors at sunset, the chatter of the birds of Nallappa grew, who had often wandered along the river, lounged on the sand, sat on the river, stepped with his class fellows, 
on old days he is just suddenly remembered when this bearded man re- 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 i mean like recalled said the word river his old days on the river right his school days now we are going back to jayan school days right i mean like see the sunset i mean like when the sun goes down the the colors the beautiful colors the visual imagery can you imagine those things like the sunset and the chatter of the birds in nallappa groove nallappa there's a place called nallappa groove groove is a place where a lot of trees just grow right ran meaning its own way uh, it means like it's not a jungle it's not a forest but still like a place dense with trees right nallappa groove and chatter of birds birds are chirping there right in other words and how often wandering along the river and these guys were just going across the river wandering along the river they are walking along the river lounge on the sands right when they were young they just lounge means sat on the sands and relaxed right you know lounged right on the even when you go to beaches you lounge right you just like uh, you lay down you put your uh, comfortably sit right and you just uh relax right so he remembers how he lounged on the sands and sat on the river step the river bank right with his class fellows in his class friends right after school maybe right and how mahatma gandhi used to address huge assemblies assemblies on the sands of the river and how he himself the minded speck in such crowd had felt his whole life change when he heard that voice i mean like some memories from the past like how mahatma gandhi also came to this river right and he had this assemblies he had this meetings he has this people right uh, gather around uh, and having this assemblies and how he was a minute speck how jagan was a minute means very small speck means dot among this crowd who gathered to listen mahatma ji's uh, speeches right all these memories good memories come to jagan hits me jagan's uh, present situation very fast right uh, and such crowd and how he felt his whole life change when he heard that voice i mean like when jagan listen to how mahatma gandhi ji speaks oh his life change i mean like his life change forever right i mean like hearing this voice is enough for him just to change his life right where are now were those friends he was recalling where are those friends now that they were lounging and having a good time in the river bank right with the classmates in other words old days class people where are these guys right uh, dead some are gone right flattened out by life flattened means the life pressures has just made them flat uh, i mean like so much life can you know sometimes make people flat uh out by life existing in the same place under the new mask like that toothless lawyer i mean like with that toothless lawyer can you remember the one guy uh, the guy with the one tooth right in in, in the, that is taking a kai deal right in his and only the rest is gum right tooth gum uh i mean like so can these guys a classmate too but see his mask his change and his is going on with what is right now in his life right so i mean that's the idea uh, so he is remembering just think about your own situation right now you have classmates you have good class friends right and sometime after like when you are reaching 55 or 60 some of your classmates will be dead for sure right and some may be flattened by the life ye kiyanne jeevithe prashnat ekka samaharu just like flat you know i can adasin ji sometimes life makes you like uh, a kind of helpless right ek yana jeevithe samahara velawata oya wala poster ekak karala me taap ekala wanda puluwan something like that right ehema dewal wenawa samahara me so that on the inna but suddenly just like a poster ara taap yalo poster ekak wage flat karala tana kalawala tiyanna puluwan deyak thama just life right life has such capabilities right life can throw you places right and that's the idea here so some are flattened out of existing the same place and some have new mask in the case of toothless lawyer right he does this his job but his his times i mean like his mask such change now right uh, you get the idea here what are what we are going on right or oh, that man who has bent that the uh, 
uh, hardly looked at anyone. There's another friend, right? Now he's bent. I mean, like he's got hunch, right? He's hunch, kudui. He doesn't look at anyone, right? And horrible things have happened, right? I mean, drastic changes, right? Uh, hardly looked at anyone or a dozen of familiar faces and some other known faces, right? From his school days, young days, right? Uh, at time, be, be, sorry, at one time, bench companions at school and playmates around the statue every afternoon, passing each other daily, but hardly uttering four syllables in 20 years. I mean, like there were some friends as bench companions, means the friends who had sat in the same bench. You're not as other than they are not talking more than four syllables. I mean, not even complete words, right? Uh, not even four syllables. They are talking after 20 years. I mean, like that's how life changes. That's how things changes for Jagan, right? I mean, like all his friends have changed, just like as himself, right? Uh, syllables is in 20 years. You have become contemplative, said the bearded man accusingly. Suddenly, Jagan was silent, right? Say, Jagan was thinking these things in his mind. He was going to the past. And, and we know the bearded man was sitting beside him. And he said, you have become contemplative. I mean, you have become brooding. You have become like thinking, right? What's wrong with you, right? Gandhi was my master, said Jagan. Gandhi is my master, said Jagan. Just like, uh, I mean, like, Periyadore was the master of Chennadore. Gandhi was my master, said Jagan. The bearded man showed no interest in the statement. I mean, like, bearded man didn't like, or just, you know, he was, for him, he is not master, right? So he doesn't care. Bearded man didn't show any interest in the statement. Perhaps because he was jealous of the term master being applied to any other claimant but his own. I mean, like, he said silent. Bearded man said silent because for him, there's no other master than his own master. Right. Uh, for example, if for just like you know, you, you can get this right. If I say uh, Shakespeare is the beer, the, the bard, right? Shakespeare, the my kavya, a single teacher may get upset, right? For then they have like Mahagama Sekara Lagi Katita, my God, a kavya, the river is such a drug, it may have a kavya. Maki would. Shakespeare is the bad killer, just like they say stay silent because they don't like my idea. For them, they have different heroes, right? Same way, when 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 uh, when uh, Jagan said Gandhi is the master, the bearded man said silent because for him the master is Periyadore, right? Uh, because he didn't like this word master to be said to anyone else other than his master, right? As if he's the only claimant of this claimant means who deserve this title. Eager to ask, sorry, eager to go back to the business on one hand, on hand, he asked, when will you find the time to go to go out with me? Now, Peri, I mean, like Periyadore, uh, it's not Periyadore, so Chennadore, this bearded man asked from Jagan, what time are you ready to go with me just to visit this place of my master? Tomorrow, said Jagan promptly. Suddenly, Jagan jumped and said, Tomorrow, he they, uh, promptly. And then asked, Where? Come here, right? Like, where? I mean, like, come here at one o'clock in the afternoon. Are you going to show me your master's sculptures? Right. Uh, no. He is asking, like, Jagan is asking, Come here at one o'clock. Come to the shop at one o'clock, right? Uh, in the afternoon. And he's asking, are you going to show me the sculptures I and mean, the, the, the statues that are done by your master? Uh, Ask Jagan, right? No, they are all on various temples. No, 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 no. I'm not going to show you the statues, right? It's, we are going to visit the master's place not to see the statues. The statues are in temples right now, right? He has given all the statues to the temples, in various temples. I told you, he was regularly besieged by temple builders. He was not the sort to keep his hand handiwork in his own house. I mean, like I have told you, right? He's all the all the temples has his statues. I mean, like statue builders, right? Uh, uh, yeah, temple builders. And the people who build the temple immediately comes for him. Uh, regularly besieged means circled him, kind of a kind of a uh, surrounded him. 
or just always behind him just to ask for statues because once you've done a temple you have to have the statue there right uh, then in other words right okay uh they can go to shine a kaduama statue going again on the yogi over the ekat the community other than statue other than the thing a bit of answer like you right when you buddhu ke hadu ama statue ke wenna tane ke aran ela wadam mana ne wadam mala ne kiyanne kene karala ay utsavayak tiyala just like you know have this formalities rituals and then only they are just opening the eyes and everything right that's how it works in our countries so in the same way right here when 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 temple builders build temples they are bringing statues from the the master right so he was not sort to keep his handiwork in his own house. I mean, like he's not a person that keeps the statues he built in his own house. No, no, no. That's not. The, that's not. I'm not going to show you the statues or something. That's the idea, right? There was such an intensity in his speech that Jagan apologized. Uh, I mean, like there was such a uh, tone in his words, right? Jagan apologized and said, "Oh, I didn't mean that." Where do you want to take me? Right? Okay, I don't know. I didn't know that. No, right in the first place, I didn't know that there was no statues. Right? So now, anyway, uh, where do you want to take me? I'm like, yeah. What are we going to do? Right? So where do you want to take me here, uh, particularly, to show you the place where we lived and worked? Said so that's all. I want to show you the place where my master worked and lived, and in the place where he built statues. Right? And where he lived. Do you work there now? Ask Jagan. Now Jagan is asking all sort of questions, right? Like what is there in this place just to go and visit, right? Is there something interesting? Is there something important, right? What is so fascinating about this thing, this place? Jagan wants to know the answers, so he asks questions, right? Do you work there now? No, I told you. I behind this road. No, 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 I'm not working there anymore, right? I told you I'm work, I'm living behind this road, right? I'm living very close by. Uh, do you make your images there? Asked Jagan. Now Jagan is asking all sort of questions, right? Are you still making your images there, the sculptures there, these godly statues and things there? At this, the man burst into a big laugh and said, At this man laughed and said, replied, Did I not tell you what I do now? I mean, like, haven't I told you before what I do now for a living? I'm not making statues. Haven't I told you what I do, right? I make hair dyes. I make hair dye. You know what is hair dye used to just, you know, blacken your hair, right? When you get old, when you get somewhere around 55 one day, right? You also may need to dye your hair, right? Because you want to stay like young. Imagine, right? Your situation, right? If you are just like somewhere around 16, 17 now, yeah. When you become 55, definitely you need hair dyes, right? Uh, you have seen, right, how your moms and dads apply dyes, right? Hair dyes, right? So he says, this man says he's making hair dye. I can make the whitest hair look black. I can make your whitest hair look black, right? With my hair dye. Uh, in old days, right? Somewhere around these times, right? They are maybe manually making this hair dyes and everything, right? Nowadays, you have this coloring and, you know, tinting and everything uh, done in salons, right? But in old days, it's different, right? This person is making hair dye, right? I can your whitest hair look black. The Seth is my best customer in the town, right? Okay, now we know why Seth's hair is black. Because this guy is dyeing his hair, right? He's making making the hair, white hair disappear by dyeing the hair, right? Uh, once in four weeks, I go and personally color his hair. Once in four weeks, like in once in a month. He goes, this bearded man goes to the Seth and black his hair, right? But now there's an interesting question. Right, some students ask me, so then why is the bearded man is is, is like have a white beard? Yeah, to not tell see it about his beard death in a right certain people have certain choices, right? I mean, like that's maybe what he likes, he doesn't want to, to color it black, right? Maybe there's a reason, right? Some don't like to apply hair dye, right? Once in four weeks, I go and personally color his hair, which otherwise would look like Milkwai, unless if I dye, say it's hair, his hair is totally white. I mean, like milk white, just as in the case of uh, the Santa Claus's beard, right? It's totally milk white, just like milk color white. Right? On those days, he fetches me in his car. 
I mean, like in old days, he, he take me, gives me a lift in his car. That's how I came to be with him today. I mean, like, that's how I just, you know, he's my friend. Because I die, he's there every, every month, right? That's how I came to be with him today. A lucky day because I have come to know you a good self. And it's a lucky day today. I knew a new person today in my life. Another good businessman, another rich man in Malgudi. Because it is one of the biggest rich people in Malgudi, right? As the same way, uh, Jagan's, I mean, like white bearded man says, yes, I'm happy just to know you, another businessman today, right? In other words, it's not pressure to know you too today, right? I'm also happy. I have never seen an image maker before. Said Jagan, right? I, 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 I also happy. I'm also content, right? I'm also satisfied. I, I, first time I met a person who made make images, right? Uh, and then uh, the white bearded man immediately rectified the mistake that Jagan did. Jagan says, you, I also can. It's a nice to know a person who makes images. It's nice to know a person who builds sculptures, right? White bearded man immediately say, you are not seeing one now. No, 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 no. I am not an image maker. I am not a sculptor. So you are not seeing one now, right? That's the other thing, right? He indirectly says, no, I am not a sculptor. I am not an image maker either. I am only a black now for white hair. Yeah. I am only a hair dyer. That's it, right? I only make black hair white. That's it. I have come to to ask if you need my service. I am here in this shop right now just to ask you whether you need to dye your hair too. That's why I am here, right? That's funny, isn't it? Right? Uh, so he tells him the reason why he visited the shop to ask you whether can I give the service to you, right? Uh, my res yes. I ask if you need my service. My responsibility is to make people look young. That's what I'm uh, as a, as a, as a makeup in kind of a way. It's kind of a makeup artist, right? Not a makeup artist, but still it's like, you know, making people look good, right? When you dye your hair, you look young. So that's my job. The Sate appreciate my services. Sate loves me, right? Ask him if you have doubts. Like, okay, if you have doubts about my service, my standards, how I do this thing, this how I apply dye, just ask Sate. He will, he will say about it, right? And uh, so things are getting a little strange here, right? And uh, yes. And Jagan hesitated for a moment, right? Jagan was like he hesitated, means little withdrawn for a moment, like little uh, tentative for a moment, like what, right? I mean, like then if he was a dyer, why didn't he, he tell it in the very first place, right? Why was this statue making? Why was this singing, right? Why was this religious songs and everything, right? <laughs> Just to come to come around to the topic of hair dyeing, right? I mean, like, see, see how these people converse. I mean, like, in these villages, right? Not coming to the topic directly, but just beating around the bush and going around and around a lot, right? But anyway, we find out that bearded man will be significant. I mean, it's, it's, it's uh, in other ways, RK Narayan is introducing this bearded man just to uh, for another level to take this story to another level, right? So we'll find out later. So it's significant still, right? Even his hair dye. But Jagan hesitated for a minute and said apologetically, I do not know if I could do it. Trying to imagine the remarks of Mahali and Grace, right? And Jagan said, thinking for a while, right? I don't know. I'm not sure whether I can dye my hair. I mean, like, I'm really fine with the way I look, right? He's a man not even looking to the mirror, right? regularly. We found that that's his way, right? So do you think he'll like to dye his hair? And he says, he says like, what does Mali and Grace think? I mean, like, you, you know, Grace, Jagan have kind of white hair, right? Right now. And imagine he goes home with black hair. What does Jagan and Ma, I mean, like, uh, what does Grace and Mali would say? Amma Tat I mean, like, they'll just, you know, say something. Then Jake, I mean, like, Jake will feel very uncomfortable, right? He'll feel very, very embarrassing. Right? Something like that. So he was thinking, like, right? Uh, he's trying to imagine, he's trying to visualize these things. 
from what good Mali and Grace says, right? Probably Mali would not even notice. I mean, like Mali is so blind, right? Mali will not even notice, right? I have da da made my hair black, right? Uh, he hardly ever looked at him. I mean, like he's he's not giving, he's not monitoring sometimes his father. I mean, like he doesn't pay attention to father. He's not concerned, right? Right? Uh, looked at him. Why not try at least to amuse him? <laughs> Jacob think like, okay, if I darken my hair, I think, I think it will amuse Mali, it will surprise Mali, right? Mali will be like, ah, ah, right? Just amuse Mali, right? At least amuse him. He suddenly remembered that he himself was a specialist in his allied subjects. And so, Jagan suddenly remembered, right? He is also a master. He also has his own talents, right? Diet has a lot to do with the color of one's hair. Ah. So Jagan remembered, right? Oh my God, right? I forgot it. Like I'm also master of these arts. I mean, like health living. Diet has a lot to do with the color of one's hair. I mean, like if you have a good diet, if you have a very strong diet, sometimes even the age of 50s, your hair will not get white if you have strong diet, right? That's what Jagan thinks. My book on this subject will be out one day. And then you will see for yourself, if your diet is controlling according to nature specifications, you will never see gray hair anywhere, says Jagan, right? I mean, like he says, now he introduced suddenly his book to this stage, right? Like I have written a book. In that book, I say like very, very healthy lives, ways of living. And the thing is like, if you live like that way, if you just eat like that way, I mean, your hair will not get white your tooth will not fall and you will forever like you know, just stay young things like that you will at least something not forever at least you, know, you will live healthily uh, so he's introducing the specifications in his book right uh, that may be the reason why the bear has never has gray hairs in the bearded man and laugh at the joke right i mean like ah that's why bears, I mean, like bears don't have white hair. Aha, again, natural diet, right? I mean, like, yes, of course, bear is just, you know, eating kind of natural things, right? Natural honey sometimes, natural things, natural uh, praise, right? Even it's, it meats, right? Uh, that's why it's a natural diet, in other words, right? That's why it's hair yeah, is not getting white. He, the bearded man said jokingly, right? For Jagan, though, this was a serious line of inquiry. Even the white bearded man laughed at it, right? Valahage Loma, Valahage Kondesudu in Nette, Okatawa, who natural diet gun in the killer, white man, white bearded man, he now in a good For Jagan, right? Ah, there's a point there too, right? Jagan was a serious line of inquiry. Means yeah, I didn't think about that. And maybe there's a truth in it, right? I mean, like, it's a joke here in the first place. Now, Jagan is overthinking the joke, right? And that he was a serious line of inquiry. He said solemnly, he said calmly without making much noise, right? Solemnly in a placid way, in an unchallenged way, he says, right? I must consider that point when my book is finally prepared. Yeah, I missed that point, right? Yeah, there's a point there. The point is, like, why the bear doesn't have white hair? This is because it is in the natural diets, right? It is eating naturally. But as a matter of fact, is this the real reason? No, it's not the real reason, right? I mean, like this other is an arcanara, and this is making fun, right, of the situation here. I'm mean, introducing us, right? So that's what happens in the end of chapter seven. We find uh, a new character, right, uh, called Bearded Man. Uh, so with the bearded man, the future chapters will carry on for a while, right? So it's very important this the introduction of this situation, right? So that's the end of chapter 7.